topic that I wanted to cover. I think it's a cool concept. It sounds like there is potential. Absolutely. I think there is a lot of potential with the medical gameplay. Right? So now the second thing that we want to talk about is griefers and trolls. All right. So my um, God class says my biggest question is not for the current implementation, but rather the future iteration. How will medical gameplay get more complex? Because right now there is no skill in it as of this implementation. Absolutely. Eduardo, what's going on? How you doing, bro? Absolutely. It is. Um, We don't know. That's the thing we don't know and we know for a fact let's let's take into consideration how the mining mechanic is right now how in-depth the mining mechanic is and the fact that it's not even complete but i don't know any other gameplay mechanic where it is as in-depth as the man mining mechanic and i feel that it's going to be the same thing for salvage and it's going to be the same thing for medical gameplay this is just the first step I see CIG making this thing. I see Chris Roberts wanting this thing to be in depth in such a way that there will be players that will want to just focus on this career and it will be skill based. This is just the first step of it. This is just the first step of it. So I'm not worried about the future iterations. I know it's going to be in depth eventually, right? But this is the first step. All right. So griefers and trolls. So now, before we move forward, right, I want to set this premise. And I'm hoping CIG will understand and take this into consideration. So medical gameplay is coming in. With medical gameplay, looting is coming in. Personal inventory is coming in. They're all going to be connected. And the fact that you can lose items in game. So in 315 if you die somebody kills you they can loot your body and take your stuff right so with that being said a lot of the players are concerned that they don't want to lose they don't like the fact that they can lose all their stuff and um there are part there are players out there that will grief them in relation to that let me let me move this real quick for right they're concerned that it's going to be given too much power to griefers and um trolls right so what i want to say is this is what i hope cig considers which will also solve this and i think it'll find a healthy balance between um both sides i would say they should introduce the concept of low sec and high sec what i mean is cig should consider segmenting they should consider segmenting space let's say for example stanton the stanton space into high security space and low security space and risk and reward will be in place based on where you are. So if you're in low security space, you're taking high risk and the rewards are going to be a much greater than high security space. The profit is going to be in a low security space. So now with that premise, if, if you're a player, if you're a casual player and you want to you know, just quickly hop in for an hour, you know, do a couple missions. You can do that in high security space. And let's say you run into somebody that's um, a pirate or you get killed, for example. In high security space, they should make it in such a way that if you die, let's say for by an NPC and another player doesn't find your body, you can respawn and not lose your gear. You get all your gear back. Right? You get all your gear back in high security space. But if you go into low security space, you have to understand that if you run into a player or if you get killed by an NPC, if you die, 
your gear is free for anybody to take. There's no insurance to get your gear back. So now, if you're hopping in as a casual player, you need to consider, what do I want to accomplish tonight? Do I have the time to go into low security space to get the higher rewards? Or do I just want to do a couple missions, have fun, and just hop off within an hour? Then you do that in high security space. But if you have the time, if you're looking for um, high reward, I feel that if, you, if you're planning to go into low security space, you need to consider bringing, bringing a crew with you, maybe a friend, right? Also, consider prepping up. Bring a crew, have a person, have, have a guy in your crew that's a medic, have probably like two guys in your crew that's a medic. One guy that's heavily armed, heavily armored, and another guy that can do some recon and can be stealthy. And if you have a, a, a well um, cohesive group of guys that everybody and everybody have their role, you guys can watch each other's back in low security space. And as you go out there, you discover things, you find loot, you're going to be finding high quality loot, high valuable loot in low security space. And you can decide when you want to go into low security space. This is already implemented in um, EVE Online and it works very well. You know what I mean? It works very well. If you don't want to take on any risk, you stay in high sec and you make your money here and there. But when you know that you have a lot of time and you're willing to take on the risk, get a crew with you, go into low security. I think that will give a healthy balance between both sides of the coin. All right. 